Good morning for your MPHS TNT crew. I'm Gavin Detrow. And I'm Colton Guest. These are announcements for Friday, April 22nd. Please stand for the pledges to the American flag and Texas flag. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Now for the announcements. Seniors, you ha have until this afternoon to come by room 224 and sign up for project graduation. You must sign up to attend and you must ask one business for a donation. Please don't ask any businesses until you sign up. See Ms. Rolfe in room 224 for more information. Western Banquet. Seniors, the 75th annual Senior Western Banquet at Tennyson Church will be Monday night at 6 o'clock. Tiger Doll Managers. The Tiger Dolls are looking for a few good managers. Anyone interested in applying for this position should stop by Miss Wood's office in the Tiger Doll Room and pick up a tryout packet. Candidates should have good grades, good worth ethic, and be willing to come early and stay late. If this sounds like you, stop by and talk with Miss Wood. You may be the perfect fit for our program. Deadline to turn in applications is May 2nd. Seniors, MPHS Texas Scholar Community Service Hours are due Thursday, April 30th. Your name will be removed from the MPHS Texas Scholar list if you do not have 24 hours of community service. Remember, these hours cannot be the same hours used for other organizations on campus. Pictures. Prom pictures along with senior cap and gown photos are in. You may pick your photos up in, from Mr. Witten in room 401. HOSA. Congratulations to the following students recognized at the Texas HOSA State Leadership Convention in Galveston, Texas. Andre Bacarea, fourth place in the health poster. Elias Reyes, first place in the medical art poster. The following students qualify for the HOSHA National Leadership Convention in Nashville, Tennessee. Adrian Rodriguez is third place in the nursing assistance. Zach Luker qualified for chapter reflections. Tessa Land qualified for chapter reflections. And Christina Kessler HOSHA talent search. She will be singing at the HOSHA opening ceremony. TNT reporter Austin Lumen spoke with the HOSHA members about their experiences in HOSHA. What's up guys, it's Austin with the TNT crew and I'm here with... Celia Reyes. Tessa Lane. Zach Luker. Andre Becerra. Adriana Rodriguez. And, uh, and they're with Hosa, and I'm here to ask them a few questions. So, guys, how did you do at state? Well, me and Tessa won. <laughs> okay. And we advanced to nationals. That's good. In chapter reflections. I got uh, first place in medical art poster. I got fourth place in extemporaneous medical art poster. And I got third place in nursing assistant. How do you think you'll do going on to nationals? Well, hopefully I'll win. <laughs> okay. Anything else about that? No. Nope. No? Okay. <laughs> what do you uh, like best about HOSA? I like um, all of the people, how we like all get along together and like we take group work to do stuff and the tamales and a lot of the fundraising together. Okay. Anything else about that? No? All right. What have you learned most from being in HOSA? I think all of us have kind of learned how to become a leader and how to be more confident in our skills. Okay, anything else you'd like to add, guys? Go national. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you for your time. Back to the studio. Spring Show. The Tiger Dolls Spring Show will present their Spring Show next Friday, April 29th at 7 p.m. TNT reporter Jocelyn Caper spoke with sponsor Deja Wood along with students Macy Dorsey and Harper Davis. It's Jocelyn with the TNT, and we're here with... Miss Wood, um, Harper, and Macy. And we're going to ask them about the spring show. Can you tell us about it? Sure. Um, this year we are going to celebrate the seasons. We are um, starting in the summer, which is when Tiger Dolls begins. We'll go through fall, um, celebrating things like football and um, Veterans Day, things like that. We'll move into winter and then um, spring. And we end the spring usually every year with the Tiger Dolls Spring Show. So we end our show in spring. And um, we've got lots of routines planned for um, celebrating the seasons. 
And uh, how did y'all pick a theme? Well, um, we have so many ideas, you know, rolling around in our head. Um, I usually start thinking about it in May of every year. Over the summer, I kind of, um, I usually write them all down and see which one I can expand upon most. And um, I decide the, the theme over the summer every year. And uh, how has the year went and what is the plans for upcoming future? Well, um, spring show is our focus this year, so we've really put a lot of time and effort into our spring show. Um, Harper, which one is your favorite routine so far? Um, my favorite is probably the Tiger Doll of the Week routine just because it's different and I've never done anything like it before. It is pretty different. We had um, former Tiger Doll uh, Skylar Morgan, who's now a Rangerette, come in and choreograph that one, so it's pretty mm -hmm. neat. Macy, what about you? Um, I'm really looking forward to finale just because it's tradition and I've done it all four years and it's just a way to go out. That's right. This will be her senior year for the last time doing If My Friends Could See Me Now. It's a heartbreaker. Oh. Sorry. Um, but that, those are, you know, some really good ones. We have the Tiger Dudes, of course. They're always popular in the spring show. We have um, the daddy-daughter routine, uh, even a mother-daughter routine this year. And then something we haven't done before, we have had tryouts before spring show. Mm -hmm. So the brand new Tiger Dolls for next year, we call them the new news, um, are actually going to get to perform in the show this year. So you'll see them. All of our dance classes, there's fifth period over there, they're getting ready for their baseball routine. We're going to celebrate baseball season, mm -hmm. celebrate soccer season. So we have a lot of things planned. And then as for the rest of the year, We'll be having officer tryouts and sergeant tryouts. Those are all kind of hectic times and, and nerve wracking for us. Then we'll have the end of the year awards, event, awards banquet where we all um, pass out our awards. Awesome. Go Tiger Dolls. Thank <laughs> you, <laughs> thank you. Special Olympics. The Special Olympics meet was held earlier this week. TNT reporter Kadesha Hopkins spoke with Miss Donna Baker and the students about their event. Hi, I'm Kadeja here with the TNT crew. We're here with Donna Baker. Rebecca. <laughs> and Selma Guerrero Jr. And they're here to tell us about the Special Olympics. So, what was the <coughs> best part about the Special Olympics? Oh, just seeing everybody have a good time. Seeing all the other kids and all the other teachers and everybody cheering for each other. And what events did you like most? What did you like, Rebecca? Running? Running. Throwing the ball? They don't fall. Okay, Jessica. Running. Running. On summer? I want, I want to have, I want the fast win. Yeah. You like running? Yes. Yeah. All right. And how was it overall? Oh, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. We love going to special events. Well, thank you. I'm Kadeza, and have a nice day. Sports. In sports, the girls' softball teams host Longview with the JV starting at 4.30 and varsity at 6 tonight is senior night for the girls. The boys' baseball team is at Longview with JV starting at 4 and varsity at 7. At the district track meet last week, the following students advanced to area. Tadriana Wilkerson in the 200-meter dash, Aslan Barrientos in the 800-meter run, Emily Brown in the 3,200-meter run and the 1,600-meter run, Brianna Castaneda in the 3,200-meter run, and the 1600 meter run, Martina Ramirez in the 3200 meter run, Alexia Nance Thompson in the triple jump, Kamea Howard in the shot, shot put, Tyson Harper in discus, Nate Doss in the shot put. Thank, Thank you for, for your attention, attention and have a great weekend. weekend.